Hey guys, welcome back. I wanted to create a quick video after a conversation I had with my dad this morning. Something that dawned on me that's critical to success is this principle I want to share with you guys. And it's something that you've all had experience with. It's something that all of you can probably relate to. And in a nutshell, that is, or this principle is, um, order of operations matters. What you begin with is critical. And what you begin with is critical because you should already know what you're going to end with. And what do I mean by that? I mean, what is your why, right? So before you maybe start your college education or before you start your company or before you start your YouTube channel or before you start um, whatever project it is that you're working on, you should be thinking of why. Is it to kill time? Is it to have an impact? Is it to just make money, right? And we talked about this in previous videos. Um, the extent to which your why speaks to your human condition, the more successful you will be. What do I mean by that? I mean, the human condition is, and you can look through theology, you could read the Bible, you could look through business books, but at a core, there are three things that we all need in order to be fulfilled. Each of you have probably seen or heard of wealthy people in your life that have taken their own life, have committed suicide, and you wonder why they have money, they have everything. Um, these three principles, I believe, are a huge factor in why that happens. So number one is creation. So creating things. We're born to be creative. Um, I know that that might be hard. It's easy to imagine if you're a designer or a graphic designer or a UX, UI designer. It's easy to understand that. But I think CPAs or you know attorneys, they can also be creators in their own right, right? So there are plenty of channels on YouTube that have um, lawyers who are creating in their spare time, trying to help with information. You have CPAs that are creating programs to circumvent certain um, tax pieces of tax law so that people can maximize their returns, right? And so creation is a really huge component. Um, the next one is community. I, this is a challenging one for me. I don't really like this one because I, I, I struggle with this one because remote work is, you know, it's around us, it's happening, it's unstoppable. I think there's a lot of great things about working remotely, especially as a bootstrap startup, right? Like not having to have an office in downtown San Francisco saves people starting out a heck of a lot of money and allows way more people to go bootstrap than would have to take venture capital uh, just because the sheer cost of office space. So, I like a lot about remote work. However, we are bred to have community. We are created to have community. Um, there are studies that show really interesting things. In the last year, when I was working really remotely in the mountains, I was struggling. There are studies that show that the brain grows larger in isolated individuals. And in extreme circumstances, if you've ever watched the show Alone or um, any of these like crazy survival shows where people are alone, they'll actually start to create community. Your brain will, as a life-saving mechanism, start to create your buddy, your uh, your Wilson, if you will, on your abandoned island or wherever, that's not really there. And that is a mechanism for us to have community and to communicate and to, to have that. Um, and so I community, especially in our environment today, is so important. Um, I think that's why you look at niches like gaming or whatever that do really, really well is because there's a strong sense of community. And so figuring that piece out for you, for me personally, what does that look like? Um, I'm not like a great person with neighbors or going to church on a regular basis. I'm not good at those things, but I have a small group of friends that I stay in touch with. I, Whenever I go to a coffee shop or a restaurant, I try to make uh, you can try to talk to servers or make new friends. I'm, I try to compliment people when I'm out. Um, not falsely, like I try to give them real compliments, not a, not fake, um, like fakely rewarding them. If they have really cool shoes or whatever, I try to let them know. Um, and so I have community in that way. I'm also trying to get stronger at having community, building this YouTube channel is the way I have community. I look at every comment right now and I try to respond. Um, and so I would, you know, and for me, where I'm going, where I want to be is like, I don't know that I'll get married or have kids or do any of that, but I think having a company for me, that will be my family. And I'm going to make a video on this in the future. It's a whole side tangent, but I want to take a look at what the Netflix CEO says about companies operating as a team versus a family. And I want to break that down. But for me, my community is the people that I work amongst, um, the team, the, the grueling process of building a company, those people involved in the early days. I really like that, that part of the grind, the type of people that are involved in that. So that's community for me. So, so far we have creation, 
community. And the last one I think is contribution. So as an entrepreneur, you have, you can, you can create, you can build things, but you've got to offer them for sale at some point, right? So you have to be able to, uh, contribute your, what you have to the marketplace. You have to offer it up. You have to, um, there, you know, give it out to people, bring it out to the world. And so I think a lot of wealthy people maybe have locked that one down. They understand the contribution part of things, but they don't have maybe perhaps the community part or they don't have, um, the creative part. Maybe they've moved away from being the, the, you know, starting out founder that's building the thing from scratch. And now they're so strategic. They're kind of moved away from that creative process. So creating community, um, and contribution. I think those are three huge things. And where I want to go with this, I'm reading my notes over here for a second, is order of operations is really critical. So that kind of ties up your why, right? That's the end. That's where you're going. That's your goalpost. Um, it's good to be aware of that, but fall in love with the process. Fall in love with the process of getting there, not with the billion dollars or the hundred million dollars or the YouTube subscribers or getting monetized or getting a lot of followers. Like that is not the process. The process is pushing up the crappy weight, doing the crappy work, uh, and you know, going through that, like that is the process. Fall in love with that. Fall in love with your haters. Fall in love with the nasty comments you're going to get to begin. Fall in love with sucking for the first months and years. Um, and that is a part of process you want to fall in love with. But going back to this idea of the order of operations, I wrote a quote down that I thought was meaningful, which was how you begin is critical to your success. So how you begin in order to begin, you really need to think of the end, right? So we just talked about that, the why. So for me, you know, having the opportunity to create, connect with other people and to contribute something that is fulfillment. I'm doing this to have some level of fulfillment. So with that in mind, I then kind of can go back to the beginning and where do I start, right? So let me tell you guys a story. This came up, this whole concept, this idea came up for me. My dad was talking about how he will go to a restaurant and he'll leave like my dad's pretty involved in his church and whatever. And he'll leave like a note, um, to the server. He'll tip them really well. And he'll leave them a note and say something kind or whatever. And then be like, introduce them to some aspect of the Bible, something about Jesus, right? How he died for our sins and all that. And we were talking about this and I thought it was so interesting and it kind of related because you don't want to leave your server being like, none of us are worthy and we're all sinners and we're all, you know, starting with that, right? Like that server, that person, their why is not strong enough yet for that, for to have Christian faith, right? For them to understand, for them to internalize that negative aspect or the, the negativity that's kind of absorbed in that. And so you want to be mindful on how what I'm telling you guys about is how you present this internally. What's your internal dialogue, right? So starting out, you don't want to start with tasks or things in order of operations that are too easy. You want to start with the right things, things that are just right. So something that's too hard is going to discourage you. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be crushing. It's, it's going to feel like a massive success if you can get through it, but your likelihood of getting through it is slim to none. So you want to work with something where you, maybe it's like using Squarespace or using um, ClickFunnels, whatever the tool is, maybe that you're, that's like the next step of you starting your business or writing a, I don't really believe in business plans or like writing them, but whatever the next step is that you're loosely aware of that you know enough about, but maybe you've never done it before. So it's terrifying. That is a good place to start. If it's too easy, you'll be done with it in five minutes. It won't challenge you. You won't feel like you've gotten anything from it. You won't have learned anything. Um, and so you want to find something that's, a, you know, somewhat challenging, but not overwhelming. And, um, you know, it's, it's, you, you know where to go to begin. You know where to go to learn or to start doing that thing. Um, and so that's why order of operations is important. If you can't tie it to your why or you don't have the motivation, you haven't fallen in love with the process, um, you've got to change your mindset and your frame on how you're looking at the thing that you're doing. Um, for me, like, again, I, I've said this in previous videos, like these, this, this is my first hundred video. Like I have done, this is my first week and I've already put out like 16 or so videos. Like this is going to suck and I'm okay with that. People are going to make fun of it. I'm okay with that. I'm not just okay with it. I'm excited to get those because that means I'm going down the right path for me. That means I'm doing the work. I'm lifting the weight. Right. And so falling in love with that process and then beginning the process, um, with an order of operations that makes sense. You want to find that sweet spot, not too 
not too hard of tasks, not too easy. Um, you want to feel some level of accomplishment and having grown, you pushed yourself to move to a ne the next level, right? So if the thing is too easy, if the first task is too easy, um, you're probably not growing and learning enough. Um, and in that scenario with my dad, right, it's like going to the server and leaving these notes, you've got to, um, you know, we're taking that situation where it's two people and we're kind of flipping it to just your internal dialogue. So you to yourself, you don't want to be, um, working on things that aren't meaningful to you yet. Like you have to solidify that. Why first and foremost, like that is step number one. And I, I, um, I was watching a video from think media and they really go into it deeply. I forget who if it was Noah or whatever his name was going through it, but he goes into the why and he asks, he goes deeper and deeper. And there's like these other levels. And like, it was like, I want to have wealth. Uh, I want to do it for my kids. And then he, he asks again in, in the world of software and product management. Um, I, there, I forget what, if it's like the four whys or the five whys or whatever it was, but there's this principle of the five whys. And when you ask, when you get to the fifth one, you get to the real reason. Right. And for this gentleman and think media, you know, the thing for him was growing up, he didn't have control. He wanted to have some level of control. And at least that's what I took away with it. Maybe I misunderstood, but he wanted to have that level of control. So really be real with yourself. Be honest with yourself. Start to get to know what makes you tick, what really, um, what really you're after. And then how you begin your process is really critical because I think how you begin will set you up for success. Um, you can do all the things, set the goals, have task management tools. All of those things have failed each of us in the past. How many people do you know that have gone on a diet? How many people do you know that have have every you know checklist in the world and still haven't been able to accomplish the thing? You've got to have a strong vision and mission on why. Fall in love with the crappy part in the middle, and then how you begin, how you you know start out, begin your order of operations is really critical in your success. Um, the last obvious one, order of operations, is commonly used in terms of what to prioritize first, right? And so I don't want to downplay that either, but there's this other side of it. Uh, what to prioritize first based on what you're going to accomplish, what's going to push you to the next level, what you can actually do um, that is really important to be aware of. So prioritization in with regard to that is, I think is really important. I hope this helps you guys and I'll see you in the next video.